Bill of Materials, or BOM, is what we're going to take a look at next here. Um, when you click this button, it pulls up a list of your Bill of Materials, everything that's on your design, including non-plan items if you have any. If you don't have any non-plan items, you can add some if you need them. Just drag and drop them up here into the non-plan. This is used mostly for items such as extra piece of crayon, extra trim, you know, any of that sort of thing that you don't want just sticks laying out here on your design so you can drop them into non-plant items. Um, and additional products. Uh, additional products you would use this for um, adding things like 2x4 or a piece of sheetrock, anything like that that you're selling the customer, knobs, handles, um, anything that you're selling the customer that you want to show on the quote but is not coming from the cabinet manufacturer. We'll get back to our plan items tab here because there's some fun things in our plan items tab that you should know about. When you highlight an item here, it highlights the same item down on your layout. So if you want to know where something's at, you can turn them on and off here to find them on the design. You can delete them from here. You can see your product information, delete. You can edit your product if you want to. You can copy your product. You can replace your product. You can move it up or down in the list. Oops, can't move it up when it's already in the top. But you can move it up or down in the list. Uh, it actually populates this list as you place them on the design. So this was the first item that I placed and as you go around it adds them in here so you can go through you know some manufacturers prefer to see their orders in a particular order wall base tall something like that um, so you can go arrange all this in here to meet those criteria if necessary that will follow through onto your manufacturer and customer reports as well uh, we got display labels with BOM number Turn that on. You'll notice down here we've got a little, little number. A little number over here matches. So number one, if we were to zoom in down here. See number one, number one. They match as they go through. Turn those on or off. And we've got a couple BOM reports that you can print out here. Here's just the standard BOM report in extra large format. Get it shrunk down here a little bit so everybody can see it. Here's our standard BOM report. Um, you'll notice there's no pricing on here because this is a sample catalog. I have no pricing in the sample catalog. The pricing that you would see here for most catalogs is list price straight out of the book with no upcharges. So wood species finish, all that sort of stuff won't be showing up here. Actually shows up at the end of the report. for um, price on your pricing reports and then this one is bill of materials with no pricing I won't open that because it's going to open big again I'll have to skinny it back down but it's the same report um, it just has uh, no pricing in it and I don't mean it shows zero like it shows over here these fields are not existing in that so um, and of course these buttons here even though they highlight they really don't reorganize anything because we don't want them to you know, we want you, if you're going to reorganize, we want you to do it by the up and downs over here. So, anyways, that gives us our bill of materials and all the fun little features in bill of materials and how to use it.